Hey, it's Emmy, and welcome back to this Better Minecraft series where we are jumping in feet first into this mod pack, not knowing too much of what we're doing, but we're learning as we go along. Now, if you remember last time, I had picked out this great area for our starter home, but then I found an even better area for our starter home. I mean, just look at it. Look at all the flowers. They are gorgeous. The scenery is absolutely beautiful. So this is going to be where we build today. Now, I also thought it would only be appropriate if we built the house using some of the wood that is specific to this mod pack instead of just the general everyday Minecraft variety. So we have got the dead log right here. And this would be Jacaranda. I think that's how you say it. I really want to say it, Jacaranda. You just, you kind of have to say it kind of fancy in my opinion. And then of course the willow log, which, oh, I love willow. I love the color. Now, another item of interest is if you remember, it took me forever to realize that we had a quest book available and I unlocked the other books that go along that will be of great use to us. So we unlocked three books in total, two of which we will look at at a later time. And then the final book is the one that I am the most excited about. It is an animal dictionary. So finally, I will know if the um, mobs are friendly or if they're hostile. And that's going to come in really handy because, oh, it figures. I don't see any now, but I've seen, oh, there's one. I've seen quite a few bison over here. And so uh, if we turn to the page and find out about the bison, we will learn that they are actually neutral, so we don't have to be too afraid of them unless we get close to them. But the weird thing is that you can shear them and you can make carpets with their fur. That's, I just, uh, I don't, I don't know. Uh, an animal fur carpet, not really my style. Okay, enough jibber-jabber. It is time for action. We need to go get ourselves some sand so we can make some window panes for the house. And I would like to find a dark forest so we can get some lanterns because lanterns are cozy. I like cozy. Now, on the way to the sand in the dark forest, I have stumbled upon a couple of interesting things. Well, I've stumbled upon that, which is not interesting. It is terrifying. And I have stumbled upon that. Oh, wait a second. That's like a, it's like a desert temple, but underwater. All right, I actually thought it was a, an ocean monument. Well, every time I find something interesting, I always say we'll come back to it later because we're not ready for it yet. But we could just take a little peek and see what we think if there's nothing scary. Oh, hey, I will take these gifts with pleasure. All right, let me just look. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I hear, I hear, I hear a trident. Oh, no, no, not doing it. We've, nope, I've had a bad, bad experience with drowned in tridents and I'm not about to do it again. No, thank you. Instead, I am going to mark it on the map like I have everything else. And my plan is when we are a little better equipped, which should be relatively soon, I hope, we are going to have a major adventure day. All right, let's get ourselves back on track so we can get our lanterns and then... Oh. What do we have here? Is this a villager home? Maybe? I don't know, but I think we need to investigate. I'm trying to decide if I just heard something. Oh, at some point I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die. You know, at some point I need to remind myself this is not a hardcore world. It's okay to die. Ew. Those things are they're so gross. I don't even I they're just gross. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get back on track here and see. Are we dealing with friends or foes over here? Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. 
All right, we got we got ourselves a little trouble here, don't we? But I think we can do it. All right, let's see. Let's just take a few little peeks and see what we think. Is there not an entry over here? Did I? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I actually don't find the pillagers that hard to beat, so I think we will be okay to explore a little further inside of here. Nope. I mean, this is actually pretty nice that they've got them sectioned off, and I happen to have a plan. I'm thinking if we just kind of block them off and go low, we can do it almost like a mob grinder and just take care of them safely from down below here. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we can do this. Come on, witch. Oh. What the heck was that? I have no idea. Ooh, what's flying around back there? Ooh, look out, little bunny. Oh, he squeaked. I'm sorry, honey. Poor little thing. All right, let's go. What? Bad bunny. <laughs> very, very bad bunny. What a horrible laugh. I don't like this at all. It's an evil magician! <laughs> it makes sense! The bunnies! He pulled a rabbit out of his hat. Oh, good grief, Charlie Brown. Alright, let me try to outsmart him and see if I can sneak in from behind. What? The changing room, perhaps? Ooh. I don't know what this stuff is, but I will take it. Am I safe in here? Is he going to come in? A conjurer hat. Decreases magic damage by 30%. Ooh. Well. It <laughs> looks like Thanksgiving has come early this year. Uh, I need to eat. Desperate times, my friend. All right. It is showtime. No. No. Nope, nope, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Get me out of here. Dang. I need food desperately. Is there any food on that boat? Oh, thank goodness. Definitely better than zombie flesh. Well, it's not edible, but I'm not going to complain. All right, one more chance for some food. Hi, matey. Well, we've got the buried treasure map, and we shall go treasure hunting later. But now that we've got some food, it's time to get back to the fight. Hello. All right, I've got a full belly, and I'm ready to fight. Oh, but I can't see him. Oh, that's... Oh, what is he? Does that, like, teleport me? Are these things, like, gassed fireballs where you can... Return to sender? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, oh one heart, one heart, one heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, save yourself. Oh, dude. Oh, that guy really packs a punch. I'm not going to lie. Oh, there's a thing. <laughs> this is kind of a hot mess, but I'm really having fun. That That's weird. It just stays there. Huh. All right, I, oh my gosh, those things hurt. Ah, it's already getting my health down. I've got to go eat again. What is that? I realize this is very awkward timing since we're in the middle of this great big dramatic battle. But I can't help myself. The magician will wait. Oh. Oh, there's a lead. I almost remember this. This is, uh, he lost one of the mob boats. I don't remember what year. A glare. Uh, all I remember is they were kind of useless, which is probably why they lost the vote. Kind of reminds me of Oscar the Grouch. Huh? Anyone? Back to the fight. All this guy does is laugh at me. Please die. Oh, I can't take much more. Oh, he's throwing cards. Sorry. Oh my gosh, all this has been is eat, fight, eat, fight, eat, fight. 
Come on, mister. You gotta give it up sooner or later. Oh, I hate it when I can't see him. Thank you, got it. Oh, finally. Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. Did I get any drops from that? Ooh, I got an extra hat and a music disc. Ooh, need to find a jukebox somewhere. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it's finally over. And we didn't even die. But we almost did. But we didn't. Okay, after that very exciting sidetrack, I am going to go grab the lanterns and some sand, and then we can hopefully finally get started on the house building. Well, that sounded stupid. Not house building, but I mean building the house. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, I'll meet you back there. I'm just going to clean up a little bit here because it's a really cool building, and I do want to leave things as much intact as possible. Okay, before you get mad at me, I know I promised that we were going to build the house next. But I found something. And it's little. It's not a big deal. But I do want to go look inside of it and see what it's all about. It's right here. It looks rather interesting. I have no idea what it is. But we won't know unless we go and take a little peek inside. Maybe a witch? Or perhaps just a lover of soup? Perhaps somebody that just is really going to want to kill me. Oh, I think I've got a plan. So you know how in villager houses a lot of times you put the trap doors in the doorway so they can't get out? Why not do that here? Ugh, except I can't place it because the door is in the block. I'm going to have to break down the door and hope he doesn't run out. Oh, fabulous. I believe we have done it. Please don't be short. Hello! <coughs> Goodbye! Ooh, rabbit hides! I'm almost positive that is what we need to make a backpack. And I have wanted a backpack since I started. Alright, I'm going to grab the rest of the loot here. And then I promise, I promise we'll finally go build our starter house. There are just so many things to explore in this mod pack that it's impossible to not get sidetracked. All right, back to the home base. Okay, finally, as promised, we are back to our plot of land where our starter base is going to be. And it is time we start building our home. We finally have our starter house and I'm going to turn on shaders just so we can appreciate it in its full beauty. <laughs> well, I think it turned out really cute. I love the wood combinations. I think those look fabulous. And Romero has stopped by like the typical nosy neighbor next door to see what's going on. Now, I'm sure we will continue to tweak the look of the house. This is just kind of a starting point until I gather more resources that perhaps can give a little bit more texture to the exterior. And we still have to worry about the interior, but for a starting point, I'd say this is pretty darn good. In fact, let's take a look at the interior. I'll show you how the, excuse me, well, I'll show you how the uh, layout of it is. We've got this nice, great, big open area in here that I'm sure we will... Excuse me, sir, I did not invite you in, Ramiro. Please show yourself out. But uh, yeah, so we'll probably do more of the uh, home decorating in the downstairs. 
And then if we take a look on the upstairs, I think that is probably where I'm going to put most of the storage for the items we collect along this journey. And then we've got the very upstairs attic, which would be perfect for an enchanting setup and perhaps a brewing stand. It just seems like the right feel for that. And then I even tried to plan ahead a little bit for the day. If we manage to get ourselves a nice pair of wings, we will have some balconies up here that we can take off and land on. That's the plan anyway. So I'm anxious to see what things we can build with this mod pack to decorate the interior. Ooh, a chandelier. Oh, absolutely, we need one of those. And I'll stick it right here in what is hopefully the center. It's center enough. <laughs> All right, that's, that's fun. Okay, I made some shelves. We'll see what those look like. All right. I like that. And of course, I'm obsessed with the little chairs in this mod pack. So I am obligated to make those. And look at that. It's like a little dining nook. Oh, that's absolutely precious. If they have chairs, I wonder if there are couches. There are couches. Oh, I need this. Let's see, what do we need to make a couch? Wool and a cushion. But we definitely need wool. That is one thing, you know what? I have noticed that I have not seen any sheep around here. So there is a lot of decorating that I want to do for the inside of the house. So I think we need to go see if we can find some sheep so that we can get some much needed wool. Since I haven't seen any sheep in our little flower foresty area over there, I figured I would just sail down here a little ways and find a different biome and see if we can find any over here. And hopefully we will see some woolly friends up here that we can take back home with us. And so far, I see nothing up here. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully, this is a little bit more friendly than the theater we visited earlier today. It's very cute looking, I'll say that much. I don't hear any menacing grunting or anything, but just to be safe, we will have our sword ready to go. And that sounded like a villager. Okay, I don't see anyone so far. Cute little resting area up here. Ah, where is he? I know I heard him. Ah, there he is again. Is he outside? Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, he's dressed like somebody that wants to kill me. Ooh, those are some freaky eyes. Hello, Bertram. Uh, a zeal lighter. Okay, and a blue journal. All right, hang on. Let me see if you've got anything inside here that will help us. Just this chest here. Uh, well, one emerald anyway. Okay, I guess for now I will just go ahead and take all of the stuff in here, including whatever the moonstone shards are. We will figure out what all of this stuff is later, I'm sure. Okay, I don't have enough emeralds for the lighter, but we will definitely grab the book. I'll be very curious to see what we can learn from that. So let's take a look at the book and we shall see. All right, so the Blue Skies Journal, an adventurer's guide by the gatekeeper. Okay, ooh, this looks very interesting. I like the way it's written as though it's somebody's journal who has been in the land before us. So it looks like we only have one entry. Okay, so we're looking for a portal made of turquoise stone bricks. And that, yep, that's what we need the zeal lighter for. Fantastic. All right, well, we have searched the downstairs. Let's see what we have on the upstairs. And apparently we have a portal. All right, this is the turquoise stone brick portal. And that is what we need that lighter for, so... We're going to have to run home and get ourselves some emeralds and come back and make a purchase. All right. Might as well grab this stuff, too. All right, let's run back home and then 
uh, we'll get this thing lit up and see what adventure awaits us. Ooh, it's so magical looking as we see our starter home start to appear in the distance. Ooh, that is such a pretty sight to be sailing up to. All right, let's see if we can track down our emeralds so we can purchase that lighter and go on quite an adventure. Although <laughs> we were originally supposed to be looking for sheep, it's amazing how quickly we can get uh, distracted into another journey. But hey, you know, that's what it's all about. Uh, sorry, OCD, it's got to be facing the right way. All right, we should be good to go. And I believe it is just a straight shot out this way. I hope. <laughs> okay, I feel like it should be like right here. Uh, is what? What? Wait a second. <laughs> I'm totally lost. What is that? It's like a snowy desert temple. Uh, okay. Well. Why not? So I'm assuming it's pretty much built the same way as a normal desert temple. And this is my preferred way of getting down into... Whoa! Down into it, but not being shot at. Oh, okay. Hold on. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just lock it off. Easy. All right. There we go. Whew. All right. That was not nerve wracking at all. All right, let's see what kind of loot we have. Yeah, I mean, pretty typical. We'll take it all, why not? All right, you know what? Let's get rid of the, is that how that works? The tripwire strip? Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, uh, oh, hello. Not awkward at all. Oops. A little nervous nibble. Well, I won't tell anybody if you won't tell anybody. We were never here, and this never happened. Is that it? Uh, maybe? I, it's gotta be it. No, that <laughs> most definitely is not it. That looks like it's a covered wagon or something. Uh, <laughs> Why am I so lost and I'm following the map? I'm embarrassed to tell you that I've followed the map. But anyway, all right, how do we get into this thing? Uh, oh, right there. All right, we always need food, so we might as well grab the hay bales so we can make some bread. Ooh, and good thing we're always hungry. A hidden chest. I would not have found that otherwise. I gotta start getting rid of some things. Okay, well, nothing life-changing, but we'll grab what we can. Okay, I usually don't like to do this. I like to leave the neat structures intact, but we're desperate for wool, so I'm going to make a pair of shears, and I am going to take the covering off of the covered wagon. doesn't look terrible it's just like a convertible and and more airy it's fine okay uh yeah we need to figure out where we're going so i keep getting it wrong all right so we actually should be going northwest up to this building right here however <laughs> you know what uh this is a terrible thought but uh one of the things I was so thrilled about getting was those rabbit hides so we could craft a backpack, and we've never done that. And now our inventory is completely full, and we're going to be going into that blue skies dimension, and I'm sure... Hello, piggy! You're so cute. Uh, I'm sure that we are going to want to be able to carry things back home. So since we're lost anyway, let's just run home and craft a backpack, and then... Once and for all, we will get to the blue skies dimension. Uh, <laughs> and of course, we've now found the, the blue skies house that we were looking for. Oh, what are the chances of that? You know what? Okay, let's, uh, let's buy that lighter from the, what is it, Bertram? Let's find Bertram. We will 
purchase our lighter and then we're gonna run home one more time all right lighter acquired all right quickly quickly let's run home so we can make ourselves a backpack and then finally get this adventure underway okay we just have to find the rabbit hides and actually i'm not sure what else we need let's see real quick all right uh we need yep six rabbit hides an iron ingot and two strings we can certainly do that I have never used a backpack before, so I'm actually really looking forward to the extra storage. Ooh, it's a quest even. All right, let's see what prize we get for completing that, if we can find it. Uh, all right, here it is. Oh, that's cool. We get the turquoise bricks and lunar stone bricks. Does that mean that we can... Oh, wait a second. Lunar, that, that's the other portal. Does that mean we can build our own portals? Whoa. Okay, I'll, I'm going to look into that later. For now, I think we're just going to stick with the building that we found in that portal. But we will put these in here for safekeeping. And now we get to equip our backpack once and for all. Awesome! I've waited so long for this. Alright, and hit the B key. It brings up the backpack inventory. And then you can just store whatever you need to store in there. All right, we are all set, and let's head back to that lunar portal house. And up the ladder we go. Okay, we have got nothing to fear. We will be fine. We can do this. All right, this is what the series is all about, is venturing into the unknown. Let's see what fate awaits us. This is really cool. All right, let's uh, let's get some saplings. I uh, oh, this tool doesn't work as well here. Nope, it does not. But it does work. Okay, I'm assuming that we're gonna have to craft some new tools. We've got ourselves a little village, it seems. All right, let's see what we can find here. Oh, we could use this for the house. It's probably something very functional. I just want it for the decoration. Okay, obviously we are going to need to craft some tools here. Because that is definitely slow. Let's see what we've got. I guess we, this is kind of like starting the game all over again all right that at least should get us started and then let's move anything we don't immediately need out of our way and put it in our backpack so that way we've got inventory space if we find any treasures and we will be always on the ready <laughs> that's just so cool a ram huh I don't suppose you can shear rams, can you? Did I? Oh, I do have shears. That's probably just going to irritate him. Oh, you can. That is so cool. And it's actually really funny because this entire thing started out, we were looking for sheep and we, we found them just in a rather unconventional way. I love it. What is that? Whatever it is, is dead. No idea what this is, but thank you. Ooh, hello. Okay. He didn't attack me, friendly enough, as far as I'm concerned. This guy, however, anything that has spikes on it is not, ooh, definitely not friendly since he's lunging at me. Okay, ooh, boy, he's, he's a little aggressive one, isn't he? Ooh, ah, uh, thank you! All right, let's venture out a little bit 
and see if there are other biomes to be found or other tree types be, to be found or I don't know maybe it all just looks like this I have no idea but there's only one way to find out Ooh, that does not look friendly oh okay I'm panicking note to self make a sword Ooh, that was a little scary Oh, finally. Yes, let's get some stone so we can craft a little bit better tools, including a sword. Oh, finally, after running around what felt like forever, finally there is at least something new to look at. And it looks like great big giant mushrooms. So let's gather some of these to take with us, even if we don't fully know how to use them yet. And that looks like a pretty sizable body of water, so I think it's worth going for a boat ride and we can check out that chimney-like structure in the middle over there and see if there's anything else worth exploring. And I mean, since we're right here, might as well grab a couple of these little mushroomy things. All right, perfect. All right, it's definitely a curious looking little structure. Like I said, it kind of looks like a chimney to me. Oh, it's the, uh, the turquoise bricks, too. Interesting. All right, I don't, I can't get up into it. There's no ladder or anything, so I'm just going to break some of these blocks and take a little peek and see what we can find. Uh, ooh. So it's just a straight drop down, and my fear is, how do we get back out? So... Uh, all right, I'm going to break this. There we go. At least we've got a water stream. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> I have no idea what we're going to find at the bottom of this. Hopefully nothing terrifying. I hope I don't drown, too. Ew. Please let there be air down here. Oh, dang it! What the heck? It's like a little killer mushroom. Oh, okay, at least it was pretty easy to handle. That's not so bad, then. Oh, I see something lurking. These are like cells, aren't they? <laughs> I really want some of these vines, though, before all mayhem breaks loose. Okay, so there's actually a spawner in there. Okay, I'm uh, hoping they can't get through here. Are we okay? Listen to those creepy whispers of theirs. Oh, it's really kind of freaky. Ooh, I don't know what those little flying things are. All right, I'm just going to grab everything and get out of here. Ooh, quick peek. It's in a smash and grab. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do the same thing for each of the cells. I'm going to clear it and then run in and grab the loot. I'm not even going to peek first. I'm just going to grab it and go. And that one looked good. I have no idea what I'm getting. Ooh, something good on that one if I made an advancement. Uh, let's see. What are all these chest plates? I don't know, but if it's from down here, I'm assuming it's best suited for here. So I think I will put one on. All right. The last cell is completely blocked off and extremely crowded. This one's going to take a little while to clear. I haven't even been paying attention. I wonder what kind of XP they drop. I mean... All right, let's try to speed this up a little bit, fellas. I think that's the last one. Yes! It's an ice farm, too. All right. Hurry before boar spawn. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I think that was enough of that kind of adventure for now. <laughs> okay, let's head back towards home. I think that was a good enough first step into the blue skies dimension. Ooh, there's something that looks like um, dripstone over there. That could come in super handy. Uh, oh, except everything's trying to get us and kill us now. <laughs> oh my gosh, you too? Oh, there's so much going on here. I don't even know if it's worth trying to get that stuff. But I'm right here, and it's right there, and I really want it. All right, I'm just going to make a mad dash down here and hope those things don't follow me. Oh. Ah! They definitely followed me. I really don't like those things. All right, let's grab this stuff and get the heck out of here. 
This was definitely fun, but I'm definitely ready to go home. Ooh, I heard grunting behind me. Is there something following me? Oh, there is! Oh, and he went through the portal! Oh my gosh, it was one of those freaky polar bear things. That first step is going to be a doozy. Oh my word, but I've got to do it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here's to hoping. Oh, I'm already getting damaged. I'm not even there yet. Okay, this is pure panic. This is pure panic. I'm doing nothing. I'm just spamming. I'm just spamming. Oh, oh, okay. Huh? It's cool. It's cool. No big deal. So I have a little bit of a confession to make. I have a tendency, I'm sure you've noticed, that I get very caught up in the moment and I don't always think things through properly. But then when I have a little time after the fact, I get my wits about me and I realize the error of my ways. So I wanted to show you, so you do not make the same mistake as I did. If you open up your player inventory and select the Blue Skies tab down at the bottom, you will bring up the Blue Skies guidebook. So this book is going to tell you everything that you need to know about the different dimensions. It will tell you what different items and ores are that you will run across. It will tell you about the different mobs that you will encounter and how to defeat them. Uh, it tells you pretty much everything that you need to know, including things that you don't even know that you need to look for. So the moral of the story is, if you go to one of the other dimensions, don't forget about the guidebook because it will definitely help you. I'm sure I'll forget it again, but, uh, you know, that's just how I do. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.